So one of the most iconic sort of scenes from Naruto and, you know, Boruto is that Hokage jacket. And the fourth Hokage jacket, Minato's, is probably, you know, when he puts it on, everyone knows that. If you watch Naruto, you know what that is. So we'll do both of them together, father and son. And we'll start with Minato over here on the right-hand side. And there's some lettering and stuff. So like Japanese kind of writing. So let's go. Let's just go for it. So I'm going to do Minato over here on the right-hand side. I'm going to start with the top of the cloak and then add his hood, right? So we're just going to do this kind of curved. Add his hair, should I say. Curved line. Going this way, right? Because his... So his arm is sticking out, right? So this side is higher than this side. See, because the shoulder comes out here. So say here, like, you know, you have his shoulder starting. In the, in the manga, he does these hatching sort of lines as well. I mean, his other shoulder goes down here. So I'll just do his hair and his head, right? So side of his head, just comes up there and there. And his headband comes across here and then down into the back of that hood. And it's just all done in black, so we can't really see anything. So the other side of it, it's just colored black. So the other side here of his headband there and then so sticking up here. I'm going to add a, I can't see it in this, but I'm going to add just a part where it's all tied together. Kind of like that. And then his ear coming down there, back of his ear coming down there. And then we got his hair spikes. Okay, so headband comes up either side. So I should do that here as well. And then his hair spikes, quite long. Coming across. Right, and over here as well. And then we go around the head. So you're just adding these spikes that go around in a radial pattern. Like that, right? But Minato's hair doesn't end there. It comes down long. He's these sort of bangs, I think is what they're called, is it? Or just a piece of hair on the side of his face. Go down that way. So now the rest of his cloak, right? So when you're drawing fabric, you got to do these sort of bumping fold lines, right? You can't just draw the arm to, to make it look like fabric, right? You've got to do these kind of curves. And then this is the sleeve and his arm will come out here. And the shoulder. Goes around that way. And then like his back line will be here. And the bottom of the sleeve on this side, just there. And then cloak will go down off the bottom of my page. And then we have his like armpit sort of area here. Cloak comes down this way there might be some hatching and things right down there and then off my page that way I think we can see like his elbow or something just there and then his arm sticks out here and he has got um, like these bracelets or something like constricting some parts of it, right? So you go up, down, up, down, up, down. Kind of like mountains. 
and then his sleeve comes around, right? And each one of those, one, two. And then you can just see these things sort of drawn in here. They're like bracelets just wrapped around his forearm. And maybe like another sort of fold line here, here. And his hand just sticks out here. So in the manga, it's not like incredibly detailed or anything. So we'll go out, down, knuckle, out, down, kind of goes in behind of the next finger. Go out, down again. And then his little finger. Right, roughly. Like that, right? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Right, so then the lettering sort of on the back. So I'll, I'll, I'll use a thick marker for this because it's done with like a brush. So I'll just try and find a, a thick marker now. Hold on. This might work. So, so we got like these big calligraphy lines. And starting like that. Then another one on this side. That's wasted in here. Come on, where are you? Where are the thick ones? This one. Right, like that, and then we join those together. A curved line on top. And then another on the bottom here. And then... So, right, and then next phase of it, like a spike here. And then this is like a vertical section. And then this curves out around. Like that. And it's like a T, so this comes across here. And then it has a comma or something floating in the air here. And there's like a, a box. So like another, so kind of like this, but it'll have cross lines. that come across. spot type of thing here so like this is 
wasting as well. So all my the big ones don't really have much ink left in them. Right, and then another one. So this is crossing that one. There's like a comma or something here. Then another one here. And then quite a detailed one down, down here. So it's like got a box. There. Okay, and then like a comma sticking out here. as well and then some spikes out the side three of them like that I think I just need to thicken this up a bit and then color these so I think you can do these black or red so it's kind of up to you. I might change them to red afterwards if I'm coloring. Or you can keep them black, you know, manga style. You know, it's up to you. So he's got flame coming up along here as well. Right, so that's it for Minato. So we'll go over and do Naruto now. So I'm gonna put Naruto kind of in front of Minato, front of his hand. So let's go over here, right? So we'll go curve line coming across here again. Naruto is not wearing a headband in this one. We'll just do his collar there. And his hand isn't sticking out or anything. So we can just see like his hair spikes. Got the whole way around his head, right? You could draw a circle if you wanted to first. You know, just like around here and then do the spikes around it if you wanted to do that. If not, you can just do what I'm doing. Like so, and then his ears sort of stick out from here. Okay, and then we got like his shoulders, so basically coming out, down. This one comes out down this way. So this one will go behind Minato's hand, right? Down there. And then this side's kind of blowing this way, so it might go off my page here. Yeah, it does. You could go straight down if you wanted, but I'll just do it like the picture. There. And then the bottom of this so it comes back in, like so. Less fold lines on Naruto's one. Makes it kind of easier. And then he's all this flame.
it goes down behind there and you can see like his sleeve like his arm hanging down here the orange and black lines like that and maybe some more of his cloak just going that way the inside of it right so his because this is um, Minato was like a manga image his is a anime one colored in orange so you could do it either way and um, what'll I do let's see I might color them in after I'll, I'll no I'll do it the same way we'll keep it consistent so let's go so we go and if I want to change the color after I can and if you want to color these Naruto's is orange and I think Minato's is red That's the first letter. Next one. We got this T. Yeah, it's actually done differently. That's interesting. So it's the same, but done differently. Okay. And then it's this T sort of thing again. So the top symbol is different. So it must be Hokage. Fourth Hokage. Yeah. Okay. And then T. Same sort of thing, a box. Same again, X marks the spot. There's not much to say really on this you just kind of copy it as much as best you can you know just pause it and see if you can copy it and then this symbol down here
like that. And I think that's pretty much it. You can clean up some of your lines, thicken them up a bit if you want. Um, what that'll do, father, son, Hokage. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.